Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Gauntlet, the audience interactive D&D show where our adventurers are continuing on their never-ending quest to defeat every monster of the multiverse, where death is inevitable and what kills us makes us stronger. I hope you're having an absolutely lovely evening. Welcome on in, everybody. Take care. Hope you're doing great. Uh, okay, a couple of quick announcements before we get on into the dang show. First of all, um, we have a thank you huh? to give out, although apparently it didn't show up on my end. I know we had someone subscribed. I'm gonna s oh, scroll up to find it because I saw it come through, but it's not coming through my activity feed. We love Who was it? We Who was it? Friends. Thank you, whoever it were. Who whoever it were. To twice, I'm done. <laughs> whoever it were that's resubscribed, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. You all keep the lights on. Welcome on back to the tavern. Take a seat. Um, we do have a quick announcement about our stream loots cards. Mm -hmm. We've had a little bit of an upgrade to their integration. Mm -hmm. So now, when you uh, use channel points to redeem packs of cards, stream loots will actually send them automatically. So if you want to be getting cards using the points, we really need you to have your Twitch and your stream loots be bestest of buds. So make sure to get those two things integrated. If you have any problems, ping a mod. They'll make sure those things get it's sorted out easy. for you. It's, it's really, really, it's really easy. easy. So if I can do. figure it out, I promise you it's not so bad. <laughs> uh, I'm very bad at those things historically. Anyway, there you go. A little, little bit of a life upgrade. Um, other than that, I think the only announcement we have is from our continuing sponsor of the Gauntlet Season 2. Cantrip Candles. Hey. Mm -hmm. Take it away, Scott. The constant, deep chanting echoes throughout the massive temple walls, helping you to sink in to your calm trance. Finishing your prayer, you rise from your seat, the heavy plate armor shifting atop your moving body. Grabbing your shield, you turn towards the great doors, each step echoing and adding to the melody of the monks. Passing one of the robed figures, the smoke of their swinging censer crosses over your face as hints of ginger and saffron linger on your nose. You place your hand upon the great doors and rest for one final moment before stepping into the raging battle outside. Sanctuary by Cantrip Candles, ladies and gentlemen. I got chills, Scott. That was cool. That was dope. Every time. You want to give your players that safe space where they can uh, relax, or if you're killing your players constantly and want them to have a place where they can respawn, uh, Sanctuary <laughs> is the scent for you. Uh, Cantrip Candles are handmade soy candles here in Los Angeles. They are candles with a story. Each one is uh, designed to bring and evoke the uh, Evoke specific locations for your home D&D or any other RPG games, or if you're just a fan of candles, they all smell really darn good. Mm -hmm. If you want, you can get candles with a metal D20 in their base, and if you get the healing potions, you get a D4 as well. Uh, go check them out at cantripcandles.com, and also be sure to stick around until the intermission for your chance to win a $15 gift card mm -hmm. to Cantrip Candles. Once again, thank you to Cantrip Candles, the continuing sponsor of Season 2 of The Gauntlet. We absolutely love them here, and as a reminder, that giveaway is international. Anyone can enter, so we're very excited for that. Okay, right. Yeah, be sure yeah. to stick around till intermission. We'll get that code word a rolling on in. I think that's about all that we have, Gauntleteers. Are you ready to re-enter the gauntlet? Oh yeah, absolutely. All right. When last we met our heroes, along with a druid friend. They fought through some significantly harder monsters. They fought their ways through the plains of hell and through a darkened, rainy swamp where a completely invisible monster befell them, in addition to some really, really, really gross bugs. <laughs> and now... Yanni Yay, thank you so much for that subscription. Yo, well, Yanni Yay. I appreciate you so much. Welcome on back to the tavern. Pull on up a chair. Yeah, really quick, we should actually probably take a second as we're falling in to the game <laughs> to take a second and say hey, howdy to some of the delightful folks who are here. 
Well, I'm just going to take a quick second and say hey, howdy. we got Killboy Gaming, Zagmeister. We've got Smoking Dragon Gaming, Dragon Dad 88, Hawketh. We've got Spoonkins. Hey. Oh, my gosh. Wish King 109. I love all these names that I we know. recognize. Clever oh, yeah. Foodie. I'm seeing Nightbot being a bot. Uh, <laughs> <Hi, laughs> Yanni, thank you all so much. We're so happy to have all of you. As the darkness descends and you continue to fall forward, <gasps> you instead find yourself Ooh. with a choice. Well, this isn't where I left, y'all. This is the strangest se sensation of deja vu I have ever felt before. This is not where I thought we were going to be. Um, all right. Uh, um, yes, so about that, um, this sort of reads as a sanctuary, because you can just <sighs> go to a sanctuary from here. All right. So, thank you for that adrenaline surge heading over to, to Camber from Witch King right. one of mine. Thank you, Witch King. Yes, yeah, so left or right, you have a decision to make. <sighs> well, I don't know about you all. I sat last week out, so I'm feeling ready for a challenge. Yeah, this is um, difficult for me because I am all for a challenge. But I do not think we will be able to do what we did last time again. You mean put our friend here into some lava? I mean, the the room where we just came from. It was pretty brutal. Uh, we barely made it out of there alive. There were some invisible creatures that um, were very good at attacking us, and they just stayed invisible. Um, we had a druid friend who was able to feel where they were. Mm, that sounds tricky. I kind of like, like it, so good for them. But... Yeah, it sounds like you guys are all, uh, all gassed out. And is that a lantern of revealing all gone from the shop? Yes. Right, we... and it was also like 4,000 gold, which we still don't have. Just out of reach. Damn, damn. Right. On a scale of one to turtles, how bad was the last room? Toe God the Sim God, thank you for that subscription. We appreciate you. 11 months. Pull up a chair. From a scale of one to turtles, um, well, we could see the turtles. <laughs> Uh, and, well, they, there were a lot of them, and they did hit hard. We could see them and hit them. Right. Um, right, right. These pretty much were... They never regained visibility, even after they died. God. Real fast, listeners, mate, thank you so much for that subscription. Four months. That has triggered a hype train, y'all. Nice. Oh so, real quick, as a quick reminder about the hype train while our adventurers are making a decision. Uh, all bits tip to the adventurers. Help them make purchases at the shop, which they're getting pretty darn ready to do here. Um, and they also keep the lights on. But during a hype train, all bits count for two silver instead of just one. All right. So we will be keeping track of that. We appreciate all of you so much. So in addition to helping us out, you're also going to change the course of the game. But I agree with Stonebreaker. Um, normally I'm all up for another fight, and I still feel fairly good. <laughs> um, but I don't feel good about the last two rooms again. This was sort of thing that um, I, I have been untouched. Um, but there is also to be said, knowing what we're going in for. Clever Foodie, thank you so much for that subscription. It, now that we know what it is, we could prepare for it more. Um, right. We could um, also beat this next challenge room. Right. <laughs> this is also true. Yes. And just go straight to the sanctuary after that. We know how to deal with the stench cows and the neparebos. This is also true. It's yes. just the next room that's bugs, which were gross, and tried to get all over me, and the creepy invisible things. Do you know, uh, Thank you all the more so we much. talk about this, actually, the more I feel confident in doing it again, should we have to. Well, look, in the last room, the last choice room, we, we had another choice, choice within a choice, right? And so, I mean, we didn't even have to fight the last room, so... Like like a, a tall 
Minnesota right. friend is saying, we're counting ourselves short if we uh, think we're not going to get through a challenge. I'm fresh in limbo. I, I will follow wherever you two stay because you've been in this longer than I have. Isri, are we allowed yes. to take any time in this room to take a short rest? No, I'm so sorry. That's not how this room works. Right. Hey. Um, well... <laughs> I'd be okay. You're okay? I think so. Just know, I'm like at half <laughs> my normal... <laughs> I got the... Half-calf. Half-calf. Right. Ah. Yeah. Um, oh, so close. Which king? Literally. Zagmester, give that investigation check. Bit my calf off. You know, I thought I heard that from the stands last yeah. week, but wasn't would, sure. Uh, would some soothing ointment help you out here for a moment before we head in? <sighs> it so might or right when we get in. It seems like we can't do much in here. performance check. Okay. Okay. Um, so, I'm cool with jumping in. Um... But just know that second room on the way back might be pretty brutal if we don't make it. Be prepared. So make it count, friends. Make it count, okay? All right. No turning back. We're in? I'm in. We're in, Isri. I'm in. You're in? We're All in. All right. Red, make sure to go right. And, uh, oh my gosh, hold on real fast. We're going to let Witch King 1 of 9 make that inv- last investigation check. Um, during this entire time, Fionn's been succeeding. glancing at Camber. <laughs> And he'll just like tackle you and give you a big like bear hug. <laughs> oh boy! Um, oh boy! Oh, Ryan, we left things on weird terms. Um, I'm glad you're alive, buddy. Yeah, I, I knew Ugh. what I was getting into, literally. All right. First of all, we are 12 percent of the way through a level two hike train, y'all. Woo! Yeah. Are uche, amazing. Uche, uche, uche. So and second of all, Witch King. Rolling a 23 Ooh, to take a peek behind the curtain. That's a crit, right? You now hear a voice from above saying, The prize in this room is two potions of flying. Oh! Oh, that's so cool. Especially because <laughs> that's just pretty crazy. expensive. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do we have? Could here? be a game changer. That's there. 500 gold each. Uh-huh. So. Hmm. hmm. We could get a third one at <laughs> our sanctuary. Oh, that's in the shop right now? Uh-huh. Hmm. Oh, but I think uh, if we get these, there is no point. Right. Unless we all want to fly for a bit. Save ourselves <laughs> some money. There's also a flying broom. <laughs> oh, what? Let's, let's go. We will see. We'll show you when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got some goodies to go find out. Just Come on. to see all of you drop. <laughs> uh, Let's go, Wyatt. <laughs> Real fast, before we go, I want all of you to know that Clever Foodie and Witch King have been really keeping you up. You are all full up on a drink. Oh, thank, thank you. you. So, thank you. That's how I like to start the episode. All right. As you continue through the door and you hear the continuous whirs and clanks and you hear walls shifting and concrete and metal and marble shifting across and the world starts to go dark and eventually down this hallway you can't see or hear anything as the sounds and the lights just grow dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. Great. Mm-hmm. This looks nice. Oh. As you find yourself in a warm well-lit room. Hmm. It, hmm? For all purposes, oh, make that make that check, Killboy Gaming. For all purposes, looks like somewhere between a den. That was a level one hype train, real fast, y'all. Nice. Uche, uche. Uche. We are so grateful for you. Somewhere between a childhood nursery and a den. There's a crackling fireplace at the far right, a couple of well-lit chandeliers and candelabras, a warm bookcase, a statue, a glorious tall marble statue covered in candles, a piano in the distance, and a very small bed, some toys on the floor, and sitting on the rocking chair is a small child. Is it a construct? <laughs> it is a small child. Hmm. Um, she has gingery red hair about this long, tied back in a messy little ponytail, wearing some very fine 
purple robes. Okay. And she's playing on a rocking chair. Ooh, good job, Killboy Gaming. Um, hi, hi there. Hello. Oh, can you tell us where we are and who you are? Oh, sure. Um, my name is Brannis, and you're in my room. Uh, this is a big room for such a small child. Well, it's it's got everything I have in it. Great. And she keeps rocking back and forth on her rocking horse. It's very nice to meet you, Brennis. It's nice to meet you, too. My name is Wyatt. Wyatt, it's nice to meet you, Wyatt. Welcome to my room. Do you live here all by yourself? Well, kind of. I gotta get it clean. It looks pretty tidy in here. Uh, you do your chores pretty regularly, it seems. I really do need to keep it clean. Okay. No one touch anything, okay? Right. I mean, we can help you pick it up if, if there's anything that needs cleaning, but... Well... I mean, okay. I don't want to speak for the rest of you. <laughs> I mean, we kind of are a good cleanup crew based on the last couple rooms mm-hmm. here. I, I don't want to get in trouble if I don't clean it, but... There's something I can't seem to get clean. Uh-huh. What's that, Brannis? And... She points behind her off of her rocking chair, her little feet kind of skipping across the ground in front of her, not quite able to hit it. She points behind her at a big pile of toys. Can't seem to clean up the toys, huh? Um, I can't, um, it's kind of scary over there, and I can't put them away, and every time I put them away, they just fly back out, and I can't put them away. Do you have a toy chest or someplace that they're supposed to go? Mm-hmm, Where's mm-hmm. that? And she points behind her, and there's a large, ornate wooden chest. Do the you say they they fly out when you put in? Um, are they able to go in at all, or is it just boom? Well, once they all go in, they fly back out. Once they all go in. Hmm. It's quite a predicament. Oh. I don't even really like going over there anymore. Well, I'm sure that we can help. Some toys and a chest doesn't seem like anything that we can't handle. And Have then you... you could stay and play, and, and then and then we could keep hanging out and, and stuff. Why, well, uh, I am sorry, little one, but uh, we, we cannot stay for very long. But while we are here, we would be happy to uh, keep your company. Okay. Yes, um... Do you just need it clean? Yeah. Because the, must it go in chest? Have you it? Uh, have you put on shelf? No, no. The toys go in the toy chest. Okay. That's why I have a toy not. chest. When 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 the toys fly out of the toy chest, Check. is it like <sighs> they really fly out, or is it more like a <clears throat> kind, they kind of, of thing? Fly to where they are now. <clears throat> <clears throat> and the, uh, there isn't. Pile above. Nico. Yeah, Nico. Ooh. Come here, buddy. Um, put your toys away, okay? And I'm just gonna uh, mentally guide Nico okay. over, over to, I guess, this purple doll. Yeah. And he's gonna go over and we'll just kind of nose it. Okay. And gently, like, mouth it. Mm-hmm. And head towards the chest. Gingerly. All right. Slowly. I would say gingerly, very gentle, a little, little bit of drool on the side because <laughs> he's trying really hard to be soft mouthed about it. Puts it in the chest. When Which actually does flip open as the toy gets close to it. Interesting. Well, that is one. How many more are there? There are five toys. Five right. toys. And you yes. started with the doll? Uh-huh. Yes. Uh, if you'd like, I can tell you what they are. Yeah, that would be great. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. There's one that uh, apparently didn't make it onto this image here, but that's okay. They're not physical objects at this point anyway. Um, there is a doll, a hand puppet that is a lion. A lion? Ooh, good checks there, Killboy Gaming. Uh, there is a soldier, a teddy bear, and a train. 
Uche Uche. Ah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, Zoom out for films. Right, I'll take the lion. Um, Hello, potions. <laughs> Clever Foodie has given Camber a random potion. Oh, there boy. is a strange um, person in here with this child. I <laughs> <laughs> and also, Fion and Stonebreaker, you are both now inspired. Ooh, oh, wow. Thank I feel Kilboy very Gaming. inspired. <laughs> Audience is rolling well in that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who do I thank for these? Uh, Killboy Gaming. Thank, thank you, Killboy. Killboy. Wow. Um, great, yeah. First, I'll, I'll put the hand puppet on my hand. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and walk it over to the uh, chest and toss it into the chest. It goes into the chest. Um, as I'm closer to the chest, does it look like an ordinary chest? Are you specifically wanting to just look at the chest or are you wanting to investigate it? I'd like to investigate it without touching it. So like really scanning it with my eyes. I'll allow you to do a perception or an investigation, whatever your preference is. That could be either, I will allow it. Investigation or perception. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure they're the same. Oh no, perception is a little bit better. Let's do that. <laughs> Can I keep an eye on uh, Brannis while off the That'll be a four. Just, wanna just keep keep a side eye and be like, what's going on with them? Sure. Would you like to make a perception check? Sure. I'd love to. Um, that was a four. Four? It's a chance. So it, it's a very nice chest. Uh, it seems to have some flowers that are carved into it. It's very fancy, ornate for a child, even. Five. Five? <laughs> um, she's got Natural red hair. Natural one, Mots. Natural one. Oh. <laughs> she's got red hair. She's quite young. Mm -hmm. um, if you had to throw down a bet, probably half elven. Mm -hmm. uh, I am going to pick up little uh, teddy bear. I'm just kind okay. of... Put it on my shoulder, uh, keep it there with my hand so it looks like it is sitting there as I walk over to the chest. She's entranced, by the way. She, you get the impression she's lost track of the teddy bear because you are so tall and she is so short. <laughs> I feel the same a lot of the time. Cam is going to pick so up the big. pick up the train and just kind of spin its wheels. Okay. I guess why well, it'll pick up the last one, the, the soldier. Okay. Do you think maybe we just try to all at once? Yeah, I'm thinking just a, a group chuck. If like, I could sit on lid. Uh, I was going to say, <laughs> yeah, we need to keep the thing closed. That's my, that. my immediate yes. opinion. Um, sure, I will... I will kick chest uh, <laughs> a quick moment. Just, <laughs> yeah. just uh, give it uh, a, a kick with my toe. Very gentle. Uh, it tips back, and then kum, 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 flops forward. Maybe you shouldn't be the one to sit on it. Do I get the uh, impression <laughs> uh, I would break it if I sat on this? Uh, it's pretty thick. It's got so some I. pretty good. <laughs> it's got some pretty good wrought iron banding across the sides and tops that make you think that's pretty sturdy. It's not something that would probably make a good long time chair, but it's also probably not something you're gonna immediately crunch. Okay, tell what, I will yeah. not uh, hop on it, but I will go behind and close. And yeah, just... put, put your full weight on it, all yeah. right? It's not made of stone, so I right. think we're good. I Yes, I do not break wood. Yeah. Uh, okay. Does not have the same ring to it. Uh, <laughs> do, you want, uh, do you want Nico to handle a teddy bear so you can use both hands? Um, I figure I could uh, just lift it and okay. drop. Yeah, I'm, okay. I, I'm good, I use both. Uh, okay. All right. Miko, uh, mm. go hang by go hang by Brannis and keep an eye out for anything else spooky happening, okay? Mm. And just hop bound on over there. The mm. camera's mm. going to walk up on uh, this side. Brannis immediately hops down off of the rocking chair and immediately starts to hold out her hands mm. to, to Nico. I'll nose him a little bit. <gasps> And then kind of turn in circles. <laughs> She'll reach and try and do like a very gentle chin scratch. He's still not aware of his size, and his tail kind of smacks her in the thigh a little bit, <laughs> and then just like turns around again. <laughs> Starts to hide behind the rocking horse and play hide and seek. <laughs> she's that's all she's doing. <laughs> she's not paying attention. Keep the kid to occupied, any longer. okay? <laughs> 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 
Cam is gonna chuck the chuck the train in from five feet away. I'll, uh, I will drop Teddy and get ready to close. Am I the last one? Mm-hmm. Here goes three, two, one. All right, give me a quick quick athletics check. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bad. Uh, <laughs> These first rolls. I know, right? Get them they out of the way. They are so fun. Um, I will use... Uh, why not? I will use Surge to make that an 11. An 11? Okay, womp sure. Womp. Um, you wrap your arms forward and try to grip into some of the carving, and the box itself starts to shudder. Uh, well, this okay. is the Okay. And... Your fingers start to slide, and it not so much pops all the way open. You're able to hold it mostly closed, but about this much of it opens wide, and just enough to have the toys go shooting out into the front and land eerily exactly where you found them. Oh, boy. Interesting. Okay. Right. Brennis startles up. See, I told you they don't want to stay in the box. Mm, yes. It's scary over there. Oh. Is this where the box live? Does it uh, has it ever been anywhere else in the room? Um, I mean, you could try to move it. It's it's I, it's too big for me to move. I but, can help. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, what is it? I'm gonna point to the statue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was about to ask the same. <laughs> That's the statue of the pretty lady. Pretty lady. Pretty lady. Uh, is, um, your mother. It's the statue of the pretty lady. As I feel like is uh, not like that the same thing. That it's not my saying. mom. Okay, no, I'm, I don't have a statue of my mommy. I mean, that would be pretty weird, but is that like a goddess or like a spirit? Some angel or something? Would anyone yeah, like What does it look like? Yeah, say, would anyone <laughs> like good. to take a quick perception yeah, check on that bad boy? I'm not rolling that die then. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, perception? Uh, mm-hmm. 18. Okay. Uh, seven. Yeah. Uh, it's an angel. Okay. Mm. Hmm. Meanwhile, um, does what, it have... What did you roll again? Eighteen. There's something familiar about that statue. <laughs> uh, it's, it's not something you can quite put your nose on. It's too tall, right? It's too tall. Uh, <laughs> but Boy, I'm very tall. <laughs> it's there's something about the the carving and the shape of it. It's not how you remember it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go into the middle of the room. Mm-hmm. This should hold on. We're gonna. We're just gonna double check, okay. and I can do this from here. Uh, right, 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 right. Yes, that's within range, and the chest is within range. Fionn is going to kind of like get down, uh, crisscross applesauce, and just close his eyes for a second, and he glitters for for just a brief moment. And I'm gonna use magic awareness, Ooh. which uh, just as an action, I can open my awareness to the presence of concentrated magic. Um, so I know the location of any spell or magic item within 60 feet of me that isn't behind total cover. Okay. And if I sense a spell, uh, then I learn what school of magic it belongs to. Okay. Wow. Um. Oof. I'm just gonna tell you right now, this whole room is magical. Oh. The whole <laughs> thing lights up like <clears throat> Times Square. Wait, no, not now. <laughs> there's largely by the doors a lot of abjuration. Okay. Um, oh, interesting. Okay. There is a lot of illusion magic throughout the whole place. Interesting. Like in the air itself. Mm-hmm. Um, the statue, what would that be? Um, yeah, as Fionn's eyes have opened, they're like glowing green and blue, nice. like solid. Nice. Wow. 
So, th yeah. Hold on, let me actually double check. I'll tell you right now what school that would be. On the statue, there is a sense of uh, divination. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a lot of just enchantment magic, just kind of all. Again, it's it's permeating. Mm -hmm. Anything specific coming off the chest? The chest, uh, the chest definitely is enchanted. Great. Um, so Fionn will start ratting these off, not really knowing what it means at <laughs> all. But, um, yeah, he just has this, like, innate awareness all of a sudden. Um, and will, as he's kind of gazing around the room, almost, like, monotonely, <laughs> <laughs> um, say it out loud to the rest of the group. This is, uh, different than your usual vibe, and is this a new trick, or...? Uh... I'll blink, and my eyes go back to normal. Sorry, yeah, it's, um, I just feel, I feel it in my bones oh, and in my muscles. Um, ever since I've been starting to do game. that weird stuff in right, combat. Right, right. Um, got your adrenaline back. This room mm -hmm. is knowledgeable, yeah. magic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it feels a little, feels a little interesting in here. Uh, I got one more idea with this chest, uh... While you were doing that, can somebody help me turn this thing on its side? Uh, sure. I'll just reach down and lift it up on. Where is everyone? You know, real fast, Wyatt and Camber, can uh -huh. both of you make perception checks for me? Sure. For sure. Hmm. That's better. 18. 15. 15? Um. As you are moving forward and going to go move the chest, the mirror. Oh, there's a mirror. Something about your reflection. There's, yes, my oh, apologies. Here, on the I side? thought I'd mentioned that. Yes, oh, okay. that's a mirror. Um, okay, cool. That, okay. Was that is my fault. There's a mirror there. <clears throat> okay. So there's something funky about the reflection in it. And it's, it's you can't really put your nose on it, but there's just something. I keep saying that tonight. There's just something wrong about the way those reflections are moving. Well, he's gonna walk up to the mirror and try to straighten his hat. Get a good look at himself. Buff, I'll buff my armor a little bit. You do. But there's something about, like, the way your hands are moving, it's just ever so slightly off. Like when you're watching a movie and the frame rate's off. Mm. <laughs> Is this time for us to look at how we look? Yes, yeah. Hmm. Do you have mirrors? Where are you from, Stonebreaker? I, y yes. Oh. It's mostly polished metal, but yes. I mean, it's kind of blurry when I look at myself in your armor. This is kind of nice. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but like, do something. Just come, come over here, Stonebreaker. Like, step in front <clears throat> and like, draw your sword or something. I will step in front and look at it and just Bless you. offer small <laughs> okay yeah but like why you're seeing how like that looks weird right it just it's like delayed something weird something give something me a weird. perception check I will do so <laughs> yeet <Yes. Eat. laughs> uh, that will be 15 a 15 how will that go <laughs> into the void <laughs> hard to put a finger on it, but something is definitely funky about the way you're waving. Mm. It's always kind of surreal looking at the way things happen in a mirror. Something slightly wrong. Is there any type of, like, edging or engraving in the frame where it, uh, that seems to stand out? It is ornate. Okay. Um, most of this room is. In fact, you get the impression that this room... G give me a perception or an insight check. Just bad um, not too bad. Perception for sure. 
21. 21. <laughs> this is the room of someone fairly well to do. Somebody spent money on this. There's nothing about anything in this room that like speaks to obnoxious wealth. It's not particularly gilded or anything, but all of the carvings are well done. All the furniture is thick and well made. The carpet is plush and clean. The candles are clean and of good wax. It's a nice room, probably a rich person's room. Um, the mirror reflects this as well. It's um, well made, mm -hmm. thick. There does not appear to be any writing or particular carving on it, however. Hey, Brannis, you play in front of this mirror a lot? No, I don't go to the mirror. You don't go to the mirror? You, in your own room, don't go to the mirror? You don't no. fix your hair? You don't play with the kids in the mirror? Mm -mm. I would like it's to. It's too weird in the mirror. I don't like it. Hmm. I would like to walk up to uh, Brannis and. Uh, I agree. It, uh, I I don't like either. Is there extra um, blanket on bed, or is it just big sheet? Well, I have lots of blankets on my bed. Could so I, I borrow I one? To... Yeah. One that looks pretty. You would like to look at. Mike's pretty. I like to look at. I like all of them, but I especially like this one. And she flips the comforter, which is a very rich red off, and inside there's this very fuzzy layer, oh. very clearly made for when it's cold, mm. uh, that she pulls out that's a very rich purple, and she pulls it out. I like this one. It's squishy. Do you have one not squishy? Look, It looks nice. One you would not, like, snuggle. One that would... Well, I mean, they, they all... The comforter's kind of pretty. Okay. Uh, I would like to take comforter. Do you mind if I borrow? No, that's okay. I'm just going to put it over mirror. Okay. There we go. Now it is not weird. Bruh. Hmm. I'd like to where you think. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, I don't know what this gains us, but you want to try to put the toys in the chest now? Maybe if all of us put them in right at the same time and you and I both hold it down. Well, so here's my also thought. Here's a thought. I got 50 feet of rope with me. I'm going to tie a slip knot around it so when you close it, I can yank that shit shut and it squishes it together. Language, Camber. There's a oh, child. Uh, I, this is reminding me that this is puzzle to be solved. Uh, this child is drawing me in. Yes. So this um, is all kind of making my room messy. We'll put it back to good order. Mm -hmm. Yes, and this looks pretty now. Wait, but what? I can't. It, the blankets don't go on mirrors. This is true. Uh, mm. But at least it's not creepy now, right? Mm -hmm. It's not creepy, but it is a mess. Huh. This it's is this cleaner than my first thought. <laughs> <laughs> um. I have one idea before we try this. Can you just pull back the corner of that Please. blanket real quick? I'll pull it and back. I want to hold the same toy soldier that I tried to put in the chest last time up in the mirror. See if it looks different. Okay. Um, make a perception check for me. All right. That's a 19. 19. Okay. Excellent. Um, as you hold up the toy soldier, your reflection looks back at you and winks and mm -hmm. looks down at the toy soldier and goes and puts it down. I'm going to close that thing. Did you did y'all see that or was it just me? I saw something. I, I saw something hit the ground. I say all of you saw something move kind of funky, but you did not see the specifics. Only you saw that. I just saw my reflection tell me to put this toy down. Okay, so I've about never the, seen that. I look in the mirror the a lot. <laughs> Maybe the mirror tells us what to put in the chest, in what order. Maybe there's like a specific. Yeah, maybe order could be. You know, be sometimes. Perhaps yes. Oh, okay, fine. In that case, I'll take the blanket off. I'm going to make bed. Um, <laughs> check order, and I'll go. Great. Okay. Make oh. the bed is nice. And, and we gotta put my purple blanket back in too, so when it gets cold, I have absolutely. Do you have specific order? I will take care. I of do. You. Okay, show me order. Do you want to do this? I want to bounce the silver off that comforter when you're done, Stonebreaker. <laughs> um, I'll pick up the lion again, and I'll grab the, the train. Okay. And I guess I'll, I'll also pick up the doll since Stonebreaker is going. All and right, I'll so. put down the soldier and pick right. up the doll. All right, who has what? Remind <laughs> me of this here right now. Train. Train. Okay. I have a lion in my hand. Lion. Okay. Doll. You doll. have the doll. Uh -huh. Um. Oh, it's the teddy bear that you had. And I put the soldier I'll take down because the teddy bear. Mm -hmm. Reflection said no. And I have experience with children. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Um, Fishing and animal handling. Are, who's all doing, what are you doing with one these One by guys? one, I think we should step Pro- up? Probably, mm-hmm. yeah. Maybe you last because you have two? Yeah, I'll, I'll put him on and mm-hmm. like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, Camber. Uh-huh. You two both see very similarly to what Wyatt just saw. Both of you wink at yourself, look at the toe and go, put it back. You, however, uh-huh. you see a reflection look, point at the train, and put it in the box. Uh, train first, it would seem, everyone. Right, put it um, in. Keep your eyes and wits about you, because who knows what's going to happen if this is what this is supposed to happen. And I don't just... know. I seem pretty friendly. Yeah. <laughs> I need another perception check. Perception? This is this world room of perception checks. Uh, so 19. 19. There is something that you notice about this, however, uh-huh. and you finally really notice what feels uncanny about this reflection. It's almost as if someone was playing a tape of you backwards. Ugh. Oh. So maybe that goes last. Okay. Uh. I don't know what a tape is. <laughs> it feels like you're watching yourself move in reverse, putting uh-huh. it in. It's got that vibe. Hmm. Hmm. I'll walk over and I'll put it in the chest. Okay. Train? Yeah, the the toy train. Okay. Who's next? Who would who who would be next then? I I think we just have to hold things up. Sure. Okay. I'm gonna back up and while they're checking out, I'm gonna go over to the piano and just kind of hang up at the piano. Okay. Um, I mean, you got a pretty good look through it, but it's a very nice piano. Yeah, I figured. Okay. I'm just gonna hang out over there and have a seat on the bench. Do you know how to play, mister? Nope. <laughs> oh. Do you? Yeah. Know any, uh, blues, jazz? I know chopsticks. What is chopsticks? I don't know. It's, it's, it's where you, like, play them only a certain distance apart and you play two pieces together. Um, ah. But I also I also know a few things. That was just the one that I think is funny. You know, um, Chopstick sounds like Stonebreaker's distant cousin. Chopsticks! <laughs> I get it. I get it. Just cackling. <laughs> Great. Um, my I cousins know. are all uh, within the same village. It is, they're not that distant. Oh. I, um, I, I know how to play. My mom wanted me to learn to play a couple of songs. So, I'm learning to play a couple of songs. That's lovely. I mean, you know what goes great with cleaning is a little music. It's true. I pretty much do everything with music. Sure. And... Just don't play any jammers or this guy might uh, lose his composure. Or I, gain more composure. I can handle it. <laughs> I can handle it. How is puzzle going? It's going great. <laughs> All right, so the train's in the chest, so I'll hold up the soldier to the mirror again. All right, soldier holding up to the mirror again? Yeah. Uh, first of all, she comes right on over here and sits down on the piano bench. And the piano bench is a little bit too tall <laughs> for most of you to actually get to the piano. It's very clearly designed for a child to get up to this big piano. And she's got very teeny tiny little fingers. And she starts plunking out a tune. And it's very rudimentary. But it's a song. And it's very clear she's had some lessons. And occasionally she messes up and the beat gets kind of funky and she starts to stick her tongue out and think about it really <laughs> hard. But she gets there. Can I use thaumaturgy to summon them to make a metronome for her? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll allow it because it's cute. <laughs> and she starts, she's very clearly seen one before and starts paying attention to it. 
All right. We were holding up which one next? Uh, soldier. 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 Your reflection shakes its head and puts it down. I will I that. put up the lion. The lion? Your reflection nods and puts it in. I wink back at my reflection. <laughs> it gives you I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> After a few passes uh, at the piano, Campbell's going to then turn and use thaumaturgy to mimic her movements. Even though he's not playing, he's just going to hold his hands over the keys, and all of her notes are going to pluck sim- are going to plunk simultaneously one octave higher uh, along with her. Ooh, that's fancy. That's magic, isn't it? Sort of. <laughs> My mom taught me too. I don't know any magics. You can one day if you want. I hope so. Do you want to try the doll again? Yeah, yeah, I'll try the doll. Your reflection shakes its head. Not the doll. Great, then I have the teddy bear. I right. think that's the soul. That leaves the soldier. Okay. Your reflection nods. So, two to go. Great. You first. Teddy bear. Hi. So the doll. Doll. Doll, you get a nod. Teddy bear. You get a nod. All right. And then uh, you see the chest close. All right. So, we put them in in that order then? Yeah. Shall we? Train's already in. Right, so I'll put the lion in. I'll put the soldier. And the doll. And then I'll put the teddy bear in. Okay. And gingerly close the chest. There's a moment. And then you feel the chest go shh, and it shoots itself open and shoots everything out. What right, 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 right. Okay. I'm going to watch the mirror as that happens. What happens in the mirror? <laughs> um, they shoot out, but not in the order that you put that they seem to be shooting out in reality. I think we might have to reverse it. Reverse it. it. Right. Mm, okay. Flip cool. it. Reverse it. You know. Mm-hmm. It works. It, sure. It's, it's, I like the guy in the mirror. I think he has some great ideas. Yes. <laughs> okay. uh, that makes sense because the mirror is always backwards. Mm-hmm. Mirror, right. image. It's like, mirror image. It's a right. reverse. Okay, so give it a shot. All right, I'll so, grab the teddy bear. Yeah. Put that in. Okay. Throw the doll in. Okay. Soldier. Okay. Lion. Okay. Train. Okay. Here it is. And here, as it reopens, and inside are two soft blue potions. Oh, sweet! I think we did it. Oh, I, th- I think we did. Huh? Are you done with the bed over there, Stonebreaker? And I'm just finishing, putting finishing touches on like the neatest little, uh, tightly put together made bed. Are you bed. giving her hospital cord? Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> That's <laughs> military <laughs> training. Kamba is incredibly impressed. Make sure you karate chop the pillows. Uh, the what? toys are away! Yay! They are. Thank you for helping me clean! Anything going on with the statue or the candles around the statue while this is happening? There, the candles add this very beautiful luminescent effect to the to the angel. Okay. Who has a very serene face. Um, and you said it looked familiar to me. Yeah. Um, and a large sword. Uh, can I look? Front. Can I like position myself to see the statue in the mirror? Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Absolutely you can. Do I see anything different? In the mirror? Yes. In the mirror, the firelight doesn't look nearly as welcoming. Ooh. And in fact, it actually seems to be brighter and seems to be crawling up the angel's face. Oh. Oh, you sure you don't want us to leave that blanket up over the mirror? Oh, the blanket doesn't go over the mirror. 
All right. All the I, I respect that. You know, all the Plenty toys are put away. Is there anything else that needs to be cleaned or buffed or organized? I mean, lots of things if you want to stay and help me. Um, maybe. Uh, also, these toys apparently go in in a very specific order. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. I remember it now. Great, ah. great. So okay. next time that they go, blah, ah, ah, you know, just put them in. Okay. Come up with a little, like, phrase or acronym... You probably don't know that word yet. Um, um, or some sort of like song and dance to keep the order the same every time. You'll never forget it. Is acronym a spell too? Uh, it could be. It's a very enchanting spell. Okay. Maybe, maybe you could have like a little story, like a little teddy bear walks into the forest and the doll follows the teddy bear down the trail uh-huh, in the forest uh-huh. and maybe the soldier is trying to find the doll um, and then uh, the lion is chasing after the soldier, uh-huh. um, and then they all catch a train. Uh-huh. At, in the end of the forest, I'm not good with stories. You could also, yeah, with a little stories. bit of Wix from Kendall, just put numbers on each one. That might be easier. Okay. <laughs> I don't want them to get too crunchy. I have to keep them clean. Well, next time we are here, we will help to clean them again. Crunchy toys. Next time we're here, we'll clean, we'll, we'll clean other yeah. things too. Um, yeah. Pretty sure we got so, to go. Yes, snag the potions. All right, we got it. Uh-huh. Do you want to hang on to them? Or? Um, I mean, I don't need both. <laughs> it, uh, it has been pleasure, little one. We must be going, but uh, we will be back to play with you later. When? Uh, that I cannot tell. Probably, Probably 10 minutes from now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 18 Pocket. to 36 seconds. Pocket thinks why it seems 16. Oh, thank like you. Yeah, okay. um, before when? we go, I'll take a bit of the honeysuckle and a little bit of the jasmine and just had it turn and be like, whenever you miss us, sniff these and you can think of us and we'll definitely remember you. Oh no. Hey, 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 kid. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. It's all right. Never alone. Hey, what's going on? Why are you crying? Yeah? And this is your room. You play in your room all the time, I bet. We're going to go play in some other rooms. Oh, you can try. Uh, <laughs> no. This is not a place for young kids like you, I'm afraid. Maybe once you learn some magic. You try so hard. You did great. You helped us. I would like to um, get down on my like, on knees and look this child in, in the eye. Uh, She's got tears and snot <laughs> starting to run down her nose. She's... Um, do her eyes have the <laughs> soulless <laughs> construct of Gauntlet, or is this something else? Uh, perception or insight, whichever you prefer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that one has to get the so, uh-huh. <laughs> I, will, uh, I will do insight. Okay. That will be 20. Ooh. No, they do not. <gasps> Great. Good thing we didn't try to fight her. Uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> why did she <laughs> That was option. <laughs> the gauntlet. It was in the last room. I mean, for a second there, I thought we were going to have to put Camber in the chest. <laughs> I'm not that small. <laughs> yeah, no, this is not a construct. It'll be okay, little one. It'll Brennis. be fine. It'll be fine. You got to be, be strong, okay? Be strong like the soldier that you play with, all right? Do you know Isri? Well, maybe we'll tell Isri about you, and she can find a little play, play friend, and and you can hang out because we have a job to do, unfortunately. But it's okay. Friends. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. are your we're friends. We'll come back and say hi, okay? We'll come back. I want you to come back. I want you to stay. We just gotta go. I we just. I, I think, think we, we just gotta go. Uh, gracefully back up <laughs> to the door. Okay. I have thing for this. Um, <laughs> Don't I will, hit her with your I will, sword. I will take a little bit of uh, my ration and go, hey, look. <laughs> Make a performance check. Okay. 
<laughs> Are you trying to distract her with the food? Uh, that will be uh, 14. If she will, she does get distracted As for soon a as second. she looks away, I bolt. <laughs> okay. And just go, go, go! <laughs> Right. I go with kids. <laughs> Always worked around the Cottonwood house. <laughs> As you get to the door. <laughs> <laughs> As you get to the I door. know, we can't get out. <laughs> and it's like, uh, uh, we were Open just... the handle and you hear this cocoon. And the door opens and on the other side you do see, continuing on, a very similar hallway to the one that you came down. It's long, and you can hear the soft whirs and clicks of the inner workings of the gauntlet. But as you start to run, suddenly the world goes dark behind you. And you hear Isri continuing to cry. Or no, Isri, uh, my apologies. Um, Brennus. Brennus continuing to cry. Oh my god! You hear Brennus continuing to cry. <clears throat> Isri calling out, you heartless bastard. <laughs> and you hear this whoosh. Uh oh. And you turn back behind you. Oh no. You what? see the entire room is ruined. We just cleaned this up. <laughs> and Brennis. I knew it was too easy. Yeah. Is gone. But you hear her continuing to cry. No! 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 And standing. Oh, God. In the center of the room. Is a woman. Oh. With dark red hair and long black purple robes her face is covered in soot and she is screaming as she stands there holding the flowers you gave her and as she continues to shake her hands they burn into flames she runs towards the door and as you all leave you hear her hit something and it echoes almost like she has bounced off of glass. No! 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 Fuck. Oh god. And you continue to walk. And her screams and her cries grow quieter and quieter and quieter uh. so oh that was uncomfortable um just ignore it just keep walking towards a sanctuary. Yeah. Yeah. I hope. <clears throat> or another room. I mean, to be honest, <laughs> like, we'll take monsters over that. That was pretty terrifying. Yep. As you fall oh, down thank God. and indeed find yourself in a sanctuary. Okay. Um. Hmm. Did, did we do that? Did, was that, or was that always just gonna happen? I just hold up the two potions. I'm assuming, are they still in my hands? <laughs> oh, I think we did it. But uh -huh. I'm pretty sure we were always going to make her sad. Yeah, that's... She did not want us to leave. Yeah, no, 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 it's, that's, that's evident. Welcome back. Uh, Isri, there's a yes? kid or maybe not a kid. There's a kid or maybe not a kid. Well, maybe a woman who just screams in a creepy room. Well, the room of the kid was great, and the room with the creepy lady was the same room, but destroyed and very creepy. You don't have any disgruntled in former interns on your staff, do you? I mean, I'm not exactly in charge of any other interns. 
So on top of all the, the labor issues, now we have to add uh, negligence to our list of charges against this whatever his name is, Clydark. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, Clydark doesn't make the rooms. I don't make the rooms. I don't put the constructs in the rooms. Uh, uh, I just help provide the goods for you to continue to be an adventurer. Mm. Uh, the Gauntlet Master handles all the constructs and everything. I have no information on that. Just... Would, would you inform HR that there is someone in need of uh, some incredibly sensitive therapy and um, proceed with caution? H. Human resources? That's pretty reductive, Camber. I say, um, neither of the. What? My employer is neither. Is not a human. Reductive? What did I say? I don't like, think. None of us are human. There's any humans here. So we have no resources for them. This was last time. Um, but you don't... You know, uh, Lister's mate, that's not really how that card works. We're no longer in Isri's choice room. I'll return it to you. <laughs> By the way, someone needs some help. Right, because she didn't it. want us to leave. Yeah. Um, um, this is one of those things. As much as you might want something, if it is not something you can have, that is... Mm-hmm. You cannot change that. No. And right. having us remain there uh, was not... That no, wasn't no. going to happen. No, no, it was not. No. We have a job to do. God mode, thank you so much for that raid. Hey. 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 God, God mode, it's so good to see you. Welcome to Trauma. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that's uh, right on schedule for you this time of night. Huh? <laughs> Let's give God mode that shout out. God mode, of course, tell us a little bit more about yourself. Let us know how your session went. We'd love to hear all about it. Folks, go check out God mode. Thank you so much for trusting us with your community, and if you're new here, welcome to the Gauntlet hey. Audience Interactive Dungeons and Dragons. It's got some kind of unique rules. Be sure to hit exclamation point rules to learn a little bit more, uh, and be sure to click on the uh, the raid message above, or just re-click on the link for our page. Make sure you're counted on our audience. We're super happy to have you. The Gauntleteers just got their choice room, and apparently they are uh, concerned. It's, it's, uh, so ultimately, I, I believe it comes down to parenting, which again is not uh, up to us. Right, right sure. And of no, course, no. like maybe alternate dimensions behind a mirror. But it's fine. It's totally fine. Let's just maybe sit here for a second. Yeah, I'm, just, not, gonna, I'm um, not gonna get that scream out of my head for a dwell while. Dwell in that guilt. Oh, I don't feel guilty anymore. That was terrifying. I feel bad. I felt I'm bad when it was child. I, I felt very bad when it was child. That's I'm what negligence so does. Very confused. Don't go, go exploring go. that room if yeah. you ever know where that is. Yep. Um, I mean, again, generally speaking, I don't go into like those kinds of rooms. Those are gauntleteers only. Kind Great. Of thing. They they wouldn't even properly spawn for me. Really, I'd go inside and it would just be sort of blank. Hmm. Huh. Well, if you ever see a child wandering around, short half elf, red hair, I would presume that this is no place for a child. It is. That's not. we thought the same, but then we encountered someone named Brennis. Brennis. Brennis, and um, has some a tear, maybe. Has some separation oh, anxiety, yeah. it would seem. And um, next thing we know. <laughs> And then there was the screaming redhead lady, mm. and I will forever be haunted by that sound that she uttered from her voice. I'm gonna go hang out with Nico. <laughs> yes, I think the rest is uh, would help. Do you mind? Cause, cause, I'm like still have <laughs> bug bites all over <laughs> from the last room. <laughs> I I could use just a short nap. Do you think, friend? Do you think? Great. I will. Yes, it uh, would be good for me as well. I will not be dreaming. I will sure. try not to pour that guilt into my riding. Hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like for the rest, when you get back, we should really talk about spending some of this gold you've been accumulating because Ooh, you can very well yes. indeed uh, upgrade a card. So maybe you very want nice. to spend it. I would be happy to speak with you while the, we take this break. Oh, um, yeah. Also, yes. I know we were discussing maybe doing things with these, which I am. I was gonna ask if you take that off while you take a nap. Are you gonna become disconnected to it? Uh, well, I must first connect to it. This I will be taking this time to do. It. Oh. Uh, oh. All right. All right. <laughs> well, I can just pump some more stuff in once you're done. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The, um, the healing that you put in, that is just the uh, first level? 
That's the first first level healing word, yeah. So uh, D4 plus three. I'm gonna put a second one of those in. I like. Along with the silvery box. Ooh. <laughs> Camber and Nico are over by their cot, just kind of hanging out. And uh, Camber's gonna do his trick again. He's gonna pull some fire from the fireplace, thread it between his hands. This time it's gonna be more like. Uh, it's gonna come out, and as he pulls it apart, it's gonna be like a, um, a double helix. Okay. And as it's gonna be, it's, the fire is gonna shift uh, to a nice emerald green. Okay. And he's going to then kind of you know, just loop it once more, a few times around Nico, and Nico's eyes are gonna flash that same emerald green. All right. He does, and then he kind of yawns really big, and then does the thing where he curls around about four times before settling on the foot of your bed. That's my boy. So, um, Silver Bob, is that first of all? First of all, yeah. <clears throat> um, so you should have two open slots left. Yeah. Um, and uh, then, as far as gold goes, uh, yes. you have 4,884 mm. gold Ooh, and two silver. Uh, leveling up a card is 3,000. Ooh. At least to level one with uh, a common card. I know you, that's what you were looking at. We should probably make spreadsheet photos to like. That would be great. Yes. Or was it level three? No, you were looking at either level. Um, I actually have one right here. Uh, with that 3,000 gold, you could level up one rare card to oh. level two or one common card to level three. And oh. we were thinking of what? I think it was the inspiration. Was that the one, or was it going to be the... It wasn't Adrenaline Surge. I remember that. Well, yeah, not that one. What would the so one audience of the, like? One yeah. of the, one of the yeah. ones to roll, yeah. If, uh, if you have any preference, audience, shout it out. We want to make this easy for um, the people upstairs. That's so. right. But uh, uh, if they don't up. have preference, maybe we save towards... I think Surge is... Pricey. It is already. It's at level two, I think, right I now. I believe. So, yes. so it would be. It would be pricey to get up to level three. Yes. Although, is that common? It's common. So, we is would it have three thousand? Or is it? Um, Look, I'm good with words, not with numbers. <laughs> rousing speech is at level two. Okay. Oh. Um, adrenaline surge is at level three. Oh, so that would be oh, really right, expensive. Start with that. Um, I'm seeing in the chat inspiration or the Vuvuzela. <laughs> oh, Vuvuzela, the that Vuvuzela one. is an uh, epic is, card, however. Yes, that's what we have. Very expensive. Very expensive. Great. Yeah. How um, expensive are we talking? How expensive are we talking? And here? is that Let's at level out. one right now? Yeah, it's at level one. To level that up is going to be uh, 27,000 gold. Oh, all right. So not that one. Great. And the inspiration <laughs> is at level two currently. Yes. Yes. Rousing speech. Rousing speech. And how much to get that to level three? Three thousand. So we could do, could do that, that to make it easier for yeah. our audience. Yeah. Then we could use them more. And that still leaves almost two thousand gold left over. Pretty good. And uh, what was for sale right now? It was. Um, we I have. Heard there's a broom. A healing potion. Two we healing have. Potions. Uh, oh, two. Mm-hmm. I thought there was only one. Oh, no, you're right. I'm so sorry. Yes, you are correct. Only one. Only one. <laughs> um, there's a potion of water breathing, mm-hmm. another potion of flying, a cloak of the manta ray, which gives you a swimming speed, right, and a flying broom. I'm also seeing identify is not a bad option. You are... Identify will get us AC. More emotion. Yes. Yes. Um, Identify is a rare card, so you could level that up to level two. How much was a mentor cloak? Uh, That is 6,000 gold. Because that one might be good for us to have for uh, days in which we go swimming. Yeah, that sucked the first day I was here. (laughs) That was pretty... That was a pretty terrible day for a couple of you. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, we don't have enough of that, so we could always 
buy a card and then save for that. Yeah. Why don't we put on a good show? Help us help our audience out a little bit. Yeah. And really crank in that gold. I mean we're pretty good at figuring out those ACs. It takes some time. But I feel like helping Sometimes our... it takes five times. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Uh, but usually we can uh, chip away with a deduction on that. What we can't do is make the audience succeed. Mm -hmm. So that would be my vote. Something that affects their roles. I agree. Towards sure. uh, inspiration. Mm -hmm. okay. Sounds like not a bad call if that's what they're I can see no rooting for. With this choice. And it is. It also benefits us greatly. Uh, Very great. Getting advantage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. I am good with it. Purchase made. Right, I think we have to put our There's gold like, in like this. You do. Cup. To put it right there. Do oh. you have like a coin counter? That's a lot of gold to count. I just know. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Isri's a smart one. Well, you do the honors. I said the, the gold's really back here, kind of. Oh right. Could we level up a card? Could you Absolutely. put the gold in here? Yeah, I, I always <laughs> keep it safe. I promise. I would never double dip or anything. I'm, I, Although we yeah, wouldn't mind if you did. Yes, if you did that, that's going to be say, helpful. <laughs> we, ha we have four thousand. I think we have eight thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Even under the helmet, you have winking. <laughs> <laughs> and you also, you definitely deserve a tip, Isri. Right. You know, oh, I know okay, that you're. No, no, I'm very happy here. It's such an amazing opportunity. You I mean, keep saying that. It really we is. haven't really we have seen anything tell... amazing about. I don't know. Isra gets to live here in the same say, sanctuary, I mean, and this is really cool. True. You all came for a reason to the gauntlet, didn't you? Right. It was yeah. an amazing opportunity for you. Well, I'm having second thoughts. That last moment, actually, the last few rooms have made me question right. my steadfastness. <laughs> we also get cool shit to wait, play with. True. That's like, true. That's Hope true. you keep yourself busy when you Oh, absolutely, for those 30 seconds that you're gone. Absolutely, I do. Yeah, yeah. Feels like a lifetime, Isri. <laughs> sort of does. So, uh... Let's level up a we card. Do card, and then we, uh... We save for maybe the off. cloak. Yeah. All right, um, I believe... That's a good, that's a good goal to set for ourselves. Six showing me all these images. Now, um, just as a quick heads up, the card will not update visually uh, until break. Mm. I'll do it on the break. I'll take care of it. Um, but uh, please know that Rousing Speech is now level 3 and the DC is now 16. Alright. DC cool. 16. As we all already leveled it up once. Mm hmm. We must I have. have it at level 2. Nice. I think, I think you that leveled might have been that the one up last time. Mm. That we yeah. leveled up. Nice. Yeah, you leveled it up again. Oh, there we go. So, yeah. uh, just know that it's 16 and at break, it will change. Cool. So I do miss having that inspiration, not yeah. going to lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, what inspiration? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have it now, I think, which is great. Make that performance check, Clever Foodie. Oh, um, try it out. <laughs> it's new, it's shiny. And new, uh, I brand new. Over. But uh, then after that, and that'll do, Camber, you now have an inspiration. Hey. Look at that. Hey. Hey. Already Already so, recouping that investment. Instant uh -huh. gratification. <laughs> that will uh, leave you with 1,884 gold and two silver pieces. What would you like to be saving up for next? The do we want to do the cloak? The cloak? Cloak, cloak of, of Manta Ray. Cloak of Manta Ray. Swimming Manta Ray. 1,800 what? Uh, 1,884 gold and two pieces. 1,884. Why do I recognize that? 1,884. <laughs> Huh. Um. Hmm. What you pondering off, you know? I just can't get the image of that angel out of my face. Out of my mind. <laughs> the um. face of the angel out of my mind. And she looked familiar to me. Was it the girl? You spent After some time, nice I don't know, job, by, by some cathedrals or some churches where you were at? Not that it's the only I place I've seen any statues of angels. Um, do you want to make a history check for me? I Wyatt is would also love now to. inspired. Thank Everyone you, Everyone is inspired. Nice. Cheers, audience. Heck yeah. That's a first, I think. Yeah, this it is. Season. Are Should I use that inspiration to roll this at advantage? <laughs> do it. Your choice. <laughs> I say you're gonna? No. <laughs> <Save> it for <laughs> <Okay>. combat. <Yeah. laughs> Fair enough. 
Um, that history, that's a 17. That's a 17? Okay. Um, what rings your mind more is less the way it looked in the room when you were there trying to figure out the puzzle with the chest and more the way that it looked when you looked back in the room and it had crumbled and fallen to the ground. You have seen this before. You've seen it in another room. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Your horns are glowing there. <laughs> <laughs> um, very specifically, it was the uh, room um, with the veggie pygmies and the yeah. wretched sorrow swarm. Yeah. That was the shadow fell. Right. It was. Huh. Great. You know, I've been doing a little reading uh, back at school about the shadow fell. They say it's like a dark reflection of our world. That would really put two and two together there. That see. makes sense. Cool. Like, like two sides of a <clears throat> rusty coin, huh? In a way, yeah. Well, one it's... side's rusty and the other side's yeah, yeah, pristine, yeah, yeah. like uh-huh. we saw. And then the other side is like magical and pretty and exciting. Right. Yeah, that's where we're from. Wild. Mm-hmm. Um, Crazy places out there. For the mods, by the way, I healed, I rolled yes. max on my hit die, I rolled for 14 total, so I'm almost back to full health. Okay. Uh, anyone else heal up? I'm sitting pretty, so just sitting and waiting. I have not done any healing. Okay. All right. Well, uh, with your freshly bought cart, so very fancy, are you ready to go? Right. So, does somebody else want another one of these potions? I uh, I have one. I got the same. I, I got the, the flying, flying, flying potion. potion. Oh, oh. No, sorry, healing. <laughs> I have healing potion. Um. You know. I would happily take one. I, I, mm-hmm. I have learned if things are off uh, the ground, I have big problem. Right. It's not fun. I, I feel as though I am taking lots of things, though. I just have... I took a I'm ring. I'm keeping one. I'll, I'll take just, one. Well, I'm cheers. I'm not particularly interested in uh, picking people from any kind of height with her. Kind of fun. So. <laughs> All right. I'll take it. You want right. to hold that other one? I'm going to hold on to this one. I think it'd be yeah. fun. I'm a little... Afraid of heights. Plus, I got the range anyway. So I don't if, know if they're up there, points. I'm not going up there. In future, we may want to put uh, at least a couple of range things in here. Mm. It's not about. I mean, I got another spell slot I could throw. Save it. We all right. Yeah, we see what we do. We're about to go into battle. Don't worry, Stonebreak. If anything uh, needs to go bashing, I'll pull this down your throat. Okay. <laughs> you know, you might have to ask Charlie that for that is, one uh, anyway. That is the strangest way that has ever been said to me. But <laughs> I thank you. <laughs> Maybe I use that in future. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe let yeah. Let's go. Uh, All right. Is that like the potion of flight? Potion of flying. Yeah, potion of flying. Okay. All right. As you continue through the next room. Don't worry, audience. I do remember I have a potion in front of me as well. <laughs> <laughs> what if it was fire breath? <laughs> I know. I didn't want anything to happen in that room and make it messy again. <laughs> the world goes dark. And you find yourself Ooh. in a grassy forest. All right. Oh, what do we see? What you see before you, you see a smattering of monsters, but before you continue to look around, you hear a ding. Congratulations. Welcome to Challenge Rating 1. <gasps> oh, boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Can someone clip the reactions? Yeah. <laughs> 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 nope. <laughs> Just the... I see someone doing math. Um, <laughs> Challenge Rating 1. Great. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is the, the benchmark standard of what we came here to do, everyone. <laughs> right, it so doesn't get any harder than this. It's <laughs> just starting. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Off to your left. Right. <clears throat> moving almost together and in unison, 
you see two dinosaurs about your height. Beautiful blue and orange plumage running in a line down their back. Dino fight. <laughs> they are bipedal. Uh huh. And as they live, they go. Yeah. And you see a mouth full of incredibly sharp teeth. Oh boy. Here in the trees, you see some small, green, almost humanoid looking creatures with smooth, spotted skin. And this one that's closest to you is hanging into the tree. It's, you would almost call them fingers, but not quite, wrapped around the branches. And they don't seem to have any bones to them. <laughs> and then, and then. at the top of the field. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Witch King 109 first is identifying the dinosaurs. <laughs> These said. dinosaurs are Dinonychus. Oh. Dinonychus. Awesome. Dinonychus. And they have 26 hit points. Oh. oh. The small Dinonychus <laughs> has 26 hit points. <laughs> Dinosaur. Far off out of the ground, actually, you see the dirt start to. And you hear this clanking and whirring as you see many metal legs actually crawl oh, out no. of the dirt. And a metal beak Ooh. flanks uh -oh. open and <laughs> shut. Oh. Um. Let's roll some initiative. Okay. <laughs> Dino's next. Come on, can't you die? <laughs> Natural 20. Nice. <laughs> Witch King 109 is identifying the metal beastie. Absolutely. Thank this you, is Witch a clockwork King. bronze scout. Clockwork bronze scout. Clockwork bronze scout. All right. And it has right. 36 hit points. Ooh. Ooh. Beefing. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's made of metal. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Okay. Makes sense. All right. So, Wyatt. That's a 25. Nice. And Witch King 1 of 9 is identifying the things in the trees. This is a choker. Ooh. That doesn't sound pleasant. This is a choker, and it has 13 hit points. Those went out of style in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> and Clever back, Foodie wants to be the Wheel of Chaos on Wyatt. Oh, boy. We haven't <laughs> even you, rolled, an, uh, rolled for combat yet. Mm -hmm. Just like the trends from the 90s, the Chaos Wheel comes around. See, right. round and round it goes. Where it stops, we're about to find out. Faulty fuse. Huh? Oh, Wait, right. This one, right, that's charge fine. of the gauntlet is okay. goes down by 10. Oh, okay. okay. Good. All right. I'll okay. take that. Great. I'll cool. take that. Cool. Over the other fuse, over many <laughs> other things. <laughs> Two fuses. Yeah. One of them is <laughs> one's short and one's faulty. Typically, faulty's All bad, right. but not in this case. <laughs> uh, Fion. 16. 16. Uh, what is your <clears throat> dexterity score, Fion? Uh... 14. Mm -hmm. 14? Okay. <laughs> Did you get the chokers, HP? 13. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Camber. Camber also got a 16 with a deck score of 15. I might beat you out with Nico following directly after me. Okay. All right, and then Stonebreaker. That is a seven for Stonebreaker. Stonebreaker, what is your dexterity score, Stonebreaker? <laughs> uh, that would be a bonus of nothing. <clears throat> Got it, okay. Well, I was feeling left out. No one asked his deck score. <laughs> <laughs> it's because he right. rolls. I know. <laughs> I know. That's a crit, yeah. <laughs> Shit, that means that i got to figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tee himself. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Wyatt, after you. All right, uh, Wyatt's going to scramble up behind Stonebreaker and uh, say, you know, as we figure this out, I think the safest place to be is up there, if you're cool. As long as it's his shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wyatt's going to scramble up uh, onto Stonebreaker's shoulder. 
And uh, knowing that these things in the trees are the squishiest, I'm going to go for the closest one with the five bolt. Okay. Uh, which would be the pink, I think. Pink? Okay. Uh, let me actually get my map pulled up here. That way I can see more <laughs> of what you're talking about. Yeah, uh, the pink choker. The pink choker, and that's right. All right. I prefer it black. Which that, king one of nine make that survival check? Um, that would have been a 13, but I'm just going to pump an adrenaline surge right on in there, making it a 15. All right. A 15 does not take Ooh, the boy. choker. Okay. It is shockingly small. Mm. Um, and it actually goes wide and hits into the tree. It looks back at you. All right, the little wriggly and hard to hit. Lister's mate has unleashed the charge of the gauntlet on Wyatt. This is unstable. I do need a percentile die. Why? Oh, Why? All right. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Let's see what happens. Why? <laughs> Even up on Stonebreaker's shoulder, it's not <laughs> safe from the gauntlet. That's a two. <laughs> as you take 11, Out of a hundred. <laughs> as you take 11 damage, and the charge Ooh. of the gauntlet resets to one. Cool. Oh yeah. Perhaps we uh, level those up next time. <laughs> <laughs> the two, I don't think, would have sa saved no matter what. So. No, <laughs> stable or unstable. Um, all right, all right. Cool, well, I'm just going to... Ow. <laughs> and that's, that's my turn. <laughs> all right. Um, that brings us to the Clockwork Bronze Scout. Oh, okay. God. Okay. Alright. So me and clockwork. As this one, this green one up top here, looks back down at the ground and actually burrows back into it once again. Oh, dang. Playing whack a mole. Mm hmm. Somebody's thoughts. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> All right. That's them. Camber. Okay. Um. Okay. 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 I'm just gonna turn around behind Nico and be like, Nico, you stick the fee on, okay? Make sure these little spindly things don't pop up out of nowhere and bite his ass. Nico sits up. 20. He's trying to look very hard yeah. to look tall. He's gonna, he's gonna kind of stumble over next to Fion, just kind of take a very like a, a tense crouch position with his little paw up, pointing. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna run. Uh, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. About 25 feet up this way. Okay. Uh, let me just make sure that's actually where I want to go. Actually, no. Mm. I get 25 feet. Right here, um, diagonally. And I'm gonna draw my longbow and take a shot at this red uh, di uh, Dionychus here across the way. Thank you for that adrenaline surge, Clever Foodie. As a reminder, everyone is now full up on everything. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's cut. Um, I believe it's a 17. Let me just confirm that. 17 to hit. A 17. Uh, one quick second. Uh, Witch King is actually throwing a fan favorite to Wyatt. <laughs> oh, thank you, Witch King. <laughs> the yo-yo in before we actually hit anything. <laughs> Healing you for eight points. Amazing. Thank you, Witch King. 
All right. So which one are we hitting? Uh, the red Dionychus. Red Dionychus. 17. 17 will hit. All right. Um, that'll be eight points of piercing damage, and just from behind me, Nico's eyes are gonna flash okay. green as I infuse that with two points of acid damage. Okay. Oh, nice. Double check. Okay. Um, that will finish my turn, and that will bring us to Nico, who is going to uh, sidle next to Fionn and give the help action. Oh, All great. Right. Very nice. Okay. Wait, no. Sorry, he can't do that just yet. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, he's going to take the dodge action. Dodge action. Yeah, Got it. Cool. There we go. All right. And that'll finish us. Okay. Fion, it is your turn. All right, I'll look down at Nico and be like, sorry, buddy, my first target went away. <laughs> We're going the other direction. <laughs> and I'm going to use my movement and my action to dash. Okay. And I can get right here. Ooh. And I'm gonna use Goran Rush and just yeah. duck down and jam my horns into the sky. Okay. And I'm gonna use my inspiration just right away. Yeah. Start it off to roll us that advantage. All right. Um, that'll be a soft twenty. A soft twenty will hit. Well, let's do that too. Uh, that'll be, I think, six points. Yeah, six points of piercing okay. damage. All right. As you pull in straight into its flank. This thing is actually fairly tall. Standing in, not as tall as you, but considerably oh, tall. taller than the thing you could closest compare to the Velociraptors that you fought earlier. Um, and it, you feel the heft of its muscles push nice. back. Oh, make that, make that survival check, Witch King. Oh boy. Um, and that'll be my turn. Okay. All right. That then will bring us to the choker. Ah, Witch King of Wine of Nine, however, has rolled a 22 on their survival check. Nice roll. To let you know. That a sanctuary, how would I calculate this? It's not, it's not after this room, nor the next, but after the one after that. Okay, okay. Three rooms away. Three rooms, all right. <laughs> <laughs> <All right>. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the hardest monsters we've seen yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the chokers. Ugh. Gets down. Actually, right there. Gonna get down and crawl straight along the ground Whoa. towards you, camera. And as you do, it actually gets down very low to the ground and climbs on all fours. Oof. And you, as it does, you get the impression that like its whole body almost shifts its entire shape forward to now be quadrupedal instead. Oh, that's great, B. <laughs> oh, and oh, as oh, it oh, moves oh. its arms <clears throat> forward, they move in a slick, round Oof. motion. Oof. It feels as though it does not have any bones. Omega scales, make that intimidation check. Um, and it is going to uh -huh. to attack you. Okay. Oh, good try, Omega scales, good try. That is going to be a 22. Sure. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's it's tempting. It's I tempting. have to think about it now. I want to see how much damage they do yes. first. You know? <laughs> uh, that is going to be six points of piercing damage. Okay. That having been said, as that happens, what you realize as it comes forward to hit you with its arm, it reaches back, and what you were just seeing is a hand is actually covered in small, tiny pins Ugh. and thorns and Ugh. stickers. Ugh. And it actually latches onto your shoulder Ugh. 
as you feel just a small rivulet of blood just coming down your side. It actually pulls itself up onto you and comes in to attack you with its other arm. Oh, Ooh. oh God, what? That's gonna hurt. Oh, that's gonna be a 16 hit. That's my AC. All right. Uh, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know. That's gonna be six points of uh-huh. damage as it proceeds to bring its tentacle back to hit you again. Oh, oh no! Shit. <laughs> I'm not the attack of the That's gonna be a 24 to hit. Yep. Wow. That's gonna be five points of piercing damage. Okay. Ooh. And it does it again. What? As it just continues Four? to just beat down on your head. However, that will only be a nine. Yeah, hit. no. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Now we know. So, yeah, you had to be the test subject. Can I <laughs> get you like an oat milk latte? <laughs> <laughs> or, um. Bribing the Gauntlet Master's <laughs> poor form. Whiskey? <laughs> or... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So that's the first one. Uh huh. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Uh, the other one's work. way up there. So it's... That's having been said, it can reach you, Fionn. What? It comes in. <laughs> Yeah. Hi. Oh boy. <laughs> I thought it was gonna just choke you or something. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's gonna be a fifteen to hit you. Yeah, that hits. All right. And once again, very similarly, this one wraps yeah. itself around your wrist and actually uses that momentum to pull itself up and wrap its arm completely around your shoulders and part of your neck. Oh god. And it proceeds to. Trying to hit you with its other arm. Spider monkey with Velcro. Uh, That's going to be a 14 to hit. Oh, no, you're you're restrained. I forgot all of those. What was the first damage that she did? Oh, (laughs) right. I forgot those had advantage. You are restrained. I'm restrained after it hits me? It's grappling you. It's grappling you. Oh, but it's not restrained. You're not restrained. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay, okay. It would have had advantage. Um, that's good. That's going to be five points of piercing damage. Hold on really fast. I just want to see if that last one would have hit you. Yeah, yeah, sure. 24. Oh, wow. Okay. Does it get the advantage on the I attacks? Yeah, grab, 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 no advantage, advantage for grapple, just, no. for, just for restraint. Then never mind, ignore me. I'm if Crom would have loved <laughs> <laughs> advantage on grapple. You're quite correct. Thank you. Gauntlet Master is a new learning, too. All right. Well, there's like five rules for five different things. I know, things. five yeah. different ways of grabbing people. All right. Uh huh. There we go. Second attack is going to be a 23 to hit. Uh, yeah. Silvery bombs. Right. Maybe if we interrupt them, they don't get all four. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Let's work a shot. That'll be a six to hit. Nice. No. All right. And uh, Stonebreaker. Sounds Ad- good. Advantage to you. Rinses its hand back up again. Nope. It gets Hi- at least three. That's Hypothesis that's failed. <laughs> it's crooked. It's going to be a 12 to hit. No. And one more time. It's four every time. A uh, time. You're it's raging. 15 to hit. Not yet. Hit. <sighs> uh, yeah, that hits. Oh, no. Six points of piercing wow. damage. Wow, great. Okay. okay. Cool, but it's grappling me. It is grappling you. Yeah. Great. We're having some close vibes. Just hug it out. Hug it out. All right. <laughs> that will then bring us to the Dynanicus. Oh, God. Oh, oh. This first one is right here by you, Theon. It sure is. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I charged right into this <laughs> battle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. <laughs> what, what is your health? Oh, oh, oh yeah. right. I need to fix that. Me too. Um. <clears throat> As it raises its head back and caws into the air and then proceeds to try and bite at you. Potions. <laughs> Killboy Gaming has given Fion a random potion. Uh, that is going to be a 19 to hit you. That hits. How much do you have? 13. Let's see. Nope, there it is. Uh, that is going <laughs> to be four points of piercing damage as Clever Foodie wants to spin the Wheel of Chaos okay. on Stonebreaker. Oh, hello. So <laughs> let's see where we go. Round and round it goes. Where it stops, we're about to find out. Watch your step. Put <laughs> <laughs> it. Why did that not take? Give me a okay. second, let me put those down. 
Uh-huh. It'll be fine. <laughs> sure. Mm. Yeah. Look, it's your step, not mine, so... I step and then three chokers appear. <laughs> <laughs> I no longer like this trend. <laughs> <laughs> this fashion trend is out. <laughs> yes. Gilboy Gaming is using a dowsing rod. I God, appreciate thank that. Thank you, Gilboy. Let, let me guess. It is around me. <laughs> <laughs> Likely. You are quite correct. Something red yeah. has indeed changed. My uncle taught me the ways of dowsing. <laughs> I am up on Stonebreaker's shoulder, not on the ground around <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it's not a springboard trap. This feels cheap. <laughs> I like there it. There you go. Me too. Okay. Somewhere in there there's a trap. That way? <laughs> or, or some. There are traps. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Fionn. Right, hi, 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 hi. That is going to be four points of piercing damage. Too. Right, I took it. Okay. Yes. Good. Mm-hmm. As it then actually pulls its back legs back and actually proceeds to kick at you like a rooster. Oof. Rock-a-doodle-doo. <laughs> With its first claw, that is a nine to hit you. No. With its second claw. How many and attacks? How many attacks in this room? So many attacks. That is a 19 to hit you. I uh, hit. <laughs> Silvery bar? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it! Good job! <laughs> I pulled out the ring and went, go! <laughs> By the power! <laughs> you're, you're in range? <laughs> DOTV Podcast, thank you so much for the praise! <laughs> yes. Welcome on in! Oh my gosh, thank you so much! Let's get you a shout out. Give your, tell us a little bit more about your channel, what you were doing today, how your stream went. Y'all, go check out DOTV Podcast. It's so very kind of you to trust us with the community. It looks like you're uh, also playing some Dungeons and Dragons. Um, Woo, boy! I just need magic. <laughs> <laughs> you did great. If you're, you did great. If you're new here, <laughs> welcome to the Gauntlet. Audience Interactive D&D Combat. It's a lovely time that does have some unique rules, so be sure to hit exclamation point rules to learn a little bit more about how things work here. And also be sure to click on the link in our raid message or click on our name down below to be counted amongst our audience. We're just so excited to have you. Lewis, Jedi for life, welcome to the Adventures Pack. Thank you for that follow. We're so happy to have you. Jedi if you're new here, respect. we're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> also, when we die, it's going to be okay. I say, yeah, <laughs> death is inevitable and a learning experience. Seems very inevitable tonight. With Silvery Barbs, you can't have the buff twice, and you also can't give it to yourself, I believe. So Cool. Uh, that will be a nine. So that that will doesn't hurt. hurt. I will give you the advantage. <laughs> oh, I will take it. Big DM name. Ron, <laughs> thank you for the follow as well. Super happy to have Your you. Your spell through his ring. Uh-huh. You get the advantage. <laughs> Look, we're already becoming one fighter machine here. We <laughs> are doing the spell. I will just yes. bump you. <laughs> <laughs> Light up with the radiant. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's so cool. <laughs> Love this. That having been said, there is a second. That was that, oh no! Oh, oh the second Dionysus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I did see that. I did. And it does did. run down. I did see that. Right here. Mm-hmm. Oh, that bird. Uh oh. <laughs> right, this is a party. And as it does. Good old-fashioned marsh pit. Um. It actually. But yeah. It has, like, pack, seems pack, to pack, move pack, towards pack. you, and it actually jumps into the air oh. and comes down at you, oh, claw first. God. God, I can't. Deny it has style. <laughs> well, that is going to be a 14 to hit you. That's my armor class. All right. I might um, call it a spring chicken. <laughs> that was a really good one, though. I, I respect that one. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm not Wrong even mad guy. at that one. That was really good. Where, did, where are my D8s? I'm my like guy? bleeding to death, but that was great. <laughs> I got some zingers now and then. Uh, that is going to be nine points of slashing damage, and I need a strength saving throw. No, you don't, because nine <laughs> oh points takes me down to zero from oh boy. almost full health. Oh, boy. Oh One round no. down. <laughs> Maybe we should have helped him more. <laughs> As it yes, proceeds I think so. to continue to attack. Yeah. Yeah. No, stop it. Stop it. Oh. Get that crit. <laughs> Bad bird. <laughs> Bad bird. Hey. <laughs> it is a vicious predator, and uh-huh. something is dead on the ground. Is that, is that your distracting technique? Was over barred? <laughs> Be a 21 to hit. That hits. That's two failed death saves. 
And I think they're mad at the eat more chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Will a 12 hit you? No. All right, so the second attack does not hit, oh so God. you are not Ooh. dead. Oh but God. you are very close. You're going to get him up on me. It's a oh. bonus action. <laughs> Death is inevitable in a learning experience. This, okay. this is fucking great. Usually it takes us longer to learn the lesson, though. <laughs> this is mighty fast. Stonebreaker, it's your yes. turn. Yes. Cool. I have things I would like to do. Okay. Uh, okay, first, um, it is bonus action. Am I use bonus action for anything else this turn? Uh, no, I will not. Okay, cool. So I am going to uh, just step Weep right over here <laughs> to okay. avoid trap. All right. And then five, ten, ten, twenty. <laughs> and then, uh, unfortunately, thirty feet will get me here. Okay. Um, right. Oh, Why on shoulders? Right, mm-hmm. right, right. <laughs> what is range on? Sixty. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and this yes, is good. Yes, Fruity. Yes, you can. Cool. In that case, I will then uh, attack Choker on a uh, uh, friend here, and I will just. Yeah, <laughs> hold still as I swing <laughs> blade at him. Ah, kill the monkey! With advantage. Um, it, it, that will be 23 to hit. Yeah, yeah, that'll do it. Great. And that is going to be... 13 points of slashing. Yes! Damage. Yes! <laughs> oh. Is you actually... <clears throat> bring your sword down onto its neck. The whole thing actually moves like rubber. And you realize as this thing falls apart that it had no bones. That is gross. I don't like it. Um, I want my friend to have bones. I will hold ring out and bonus action healing word. (laughs) All right. As I go, this is horrible but amazing. (laughs) It's a bones day. All <laughs> right. It's, it's 1d4 plus 3. Okay, that will be you heal for uh, 6. Great. All t- that's Mm-hmm. <laughs> Great. <laughs> it's something. Just mark off that what uh-huh. I have used on the ring. <laughs> that's two already. Yes. <laughs> Worth it. I have one totally. healing word left. Um, cool. And that is turn. <clears throat> All right. And as we have reached the end of initiative, oh, hot speed. We're gonna okay. take a quick. <laughs> uh, okay. Wow, two hours flew by there. Yep. Oh. <laughs> real fast though, Clever Foodie is throwing some help to Fion. We'll do that really quickly. Great. Oh, we'll thank that. Wow. Thank you. Cool. That. Yeah. Thank you. It's gonna be. Four points of healing. Great. Sure. Love, digits. love All this. All right, y'all. Welcome to the break of the Adventurers <coughs> Pack, where we're going to do a giveaway. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to do a giveaway. We're going to give away a $15 coupon code to our amazing returning sponsor of season two of the Gauntlet, Cantrip Candles. They're absolutely amazing, and we love them. Um, so the secret word today, the code word, is going to be playtime. <laughs> um, Evil. The secret playtime. word is uh, playtime. Make sure to wait for Nightbot to let that go through. It's going to be exclamation point playtime, all one word. Um, make sure to only type it in once or you will be disqualified. This is an international giveaway, so anyone can enter for this coupon code. It's very exciting. Whew. We're going to roll that through in just a quick second, but you all take care. Don't go too far. We're going to be right back. See you soon.
And welcome on back, everyone, to The Gauntlet, the D&D &D interactive combat show, where our adventurers are continuing in their never-ending quest to defeat every monster of the multiverse, where death is inevitable and what kills them makes them stronger. We hope you have a lovely break. We absolutely did. Welcome to the chat, Jeffrey. You aren't playing a bard this time. I am going to be answering something in song form. It's Jeff. It's Jeff. Um, <laughs> we have a giveaway to roll, so now is your, we're going to give you another quick second. If you want to type in exclamation point playtime, now is your moment. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to roll it. I swear it's not <laughs> Spoonkin! Yay! 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 Spoonkin, send us a direct message on Twitch. We will get you that cal that coupon code. Congratulations. I don't Thank think you. Spoonkins likes candles. <laughs> I think so. I might have heard a rumor that maybe, just maybe. <laughs> big congrats, big congrats. All right. That was our break. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> sure <How> was. <laughs> oh, <I'm> sure. Great. <laughs> feeling good? Better. I had some crackers and I got tea. We'll see what happens next. All right. <laughs> Something. Yeah. <laughs> As once again. <laughs> we find ourselves back <clears throat> in an issue. I got the music playing. Oh, let me fix that. Gotta have our heckin' music here. I mean, the silence mm. does make it creepier. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <sighs> There we go. There we go. Cool. All right. Oh, fighting dinos. This time, but with tunes. <laughs> that brings us to Wyatt's at the beginning of the combat round. We are fighting. If you're just coming in on the break, we are fighting. Dionicus. Dionicus. Hard Latin words. Uh, we are fighting a clockwork bronze scout and a choker. <laughs> and one of those chokers has gone down. <laughs> well, things may be looking bleak, but we're not going down that easy. I think the magic word tonight's healing. Let's have it times two as I twin a level two healing word. Ooh. Oh. Sending one out at uh, Camber and one at Fionn. Right. Thank you. Hey, hey. Appreciate it, Fodden. Uh, that'll be eight points of healing. Oh, I love that. To each other. All right, and Smoking Dragon Gaming wants to spin the Wheel of Chaos on you. Oh, boy. What? <laughs> so, Fingers crossed. round and round this goes. Watch your step. <laughs> oh, boy. We just got out of it. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, it just wants you to stay put, I guess. This, this is still a problem for me. <laughs> right. right, something has changed right. somewhere around you. There may or may not be some traps. As long as I'm not on Stonebreaker's arm. Damn it. <laughs> clink, clink. Bing, 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 bing. Um, <clears throat> all right, so that was my bonus action. 
using the sorcery point there for my action, uh, you had gored one of the mm-hmm. Dionysus. The red Di- one? Dionysus. <laughs> I would never gore Dionysus. <laughs> Uh, yes, the red Dionite. Well, <laughs> um, wrong character. Die. <laughs> All right, in that case, I'm going to cast a Toll the Dead. Omega Scales playing Dazzling. Oh! Thank you, Omega Scales. Let's Toll the Dead on that uh, injured Dionysus. Uh, that's a save and throw wisdom. Oh, wait, hold on a sec. I messed that up. Let me guess. <laughs> Waiting for traps. He's on me. <laughs> Somewhere in there. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So, Toll the Dead on the Dynanicus. Yeah. Absolutely the hurt one. Okay, it's the blue one wisdom saving throw? Wisdom save, yes please. All right. That is gonna be a 16. 16 will succeed, but that's still going to be a D8 worth of necrotic All damage. All right, let's uh, see what the hat oh, is. Minimum damage, mm-hmm. oh. one point. Oh, I'm just drawing little pink squares everywhere. Ignore those. <laughs> I think it was on the red one, right? Yeah, it was on the red one. Okay. Well, All right, as it shakes his head as you hear this pong. Look, the toll was small this time. <laughs> uh... Cool, that's Pum. my turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's your turn. It's bringing us to the Clockwork Bronze Scouts. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, where'd they go? I don't know, and yeah. I don't have a great I'm feeling very, about it. I'm very <laughs> nervous. No. <laughs> I'm just hoping you can get a rage off before things get worse. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it's a bad room for low initiative. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I'm not even that low. No. Okay. Just worse you're, than you're, most you're of you. are prone now, so there is a problem. So. Coming in right there. Huh. All right. Um. Mm. <laughs> Don't like that. Mm. Still breaker, how tall are you? Uh, what did we say? Somewhere between, uh, like, almost eight feet? I need dexterity saving throws from Wyatt, Stonebreaker, and Camber. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. What if I say ten feet? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh, these, boy. I don't know oh what's going to happen. Oh, boy. Um, I'm, I'm going to use my inspiration here. Okay. Mm-hmm. To roll this on a bench. All right. I will use an adrenaline surge to hopefully... Make it 12 good enough. Okay. 19. 19. 7. Or, nope, 5. <laughs> Weeble wobble and he fall down. Uh-huh. uh-huh. <laughs> uh, Stonebreaker yes. is the only failure. Oh, okay. Hey. Sorry. Uh, so <laughs> up Thank you, through <laughs> the dirt, you actually suddenly see... <laughs> as blue lightning actually churns up through oh. the dirt and through what? you. That's cool. That produces a lightning flare. <laughs> Whoa! Um, <laughs> what? This is the clockworks? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is the clockwork bronze <laughs> scouts. Uh-huh. Or bronze. Yes. It's probably oh, no. gold, silver. No. Listen. <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> Wyatt and Camber taking nine points oh. of lightning damage. Oh my god! Oh. And Stonebreaker taking 18 as it rattles throughout your armor. I would like to use the reaction for oh. Stones and Joe. <laughs> 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 uh, and that will uh, reduce it by. It's actually good. Um, 10. Okay. okay. Alright. Okay. Eight points of damage. And we, do we see it yet? Did it pop up? No. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, you actually do see it. Oh, okay. Its little legs actually churn up through the dirt. Um. And 
and it actually then goes back down underneath. Oh my god. Mm hmm. All right. Oh my god. I feel real safe uh, right now. Uh huh. This is great. Real safe. It's going real great. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't you do it. There's another one. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Stonebreaker, Wyatt, and Camber, I need dexterity saving throws. Uh huh. I, sh I did not learn my lesson. I was at the advantage, but no. Oh, boy. This oh. is fine. <laughs> <laughs> So that'll be an 11. Natural Camera. one. <laughs> Stonebreaker? Four. <laughs> oh, God. With three failures. I'd like to use my lucky footwork. Okay, all right. <laughs> to add a d4. Okay. Wait, you guys had, you guys had Silvery Barb's rolls. I used that on it. Oh, you did? Okay. And he used it last yeah. time. <laughs> I didn't use no, it, you but... you used inspiration, but you didn't declare it beforehand. Yeah, yeah. it's fine, it's yeah. fine. Uh, adding a four, that makes it a 15. Wyatt with a success. Oh, thank result, goodness, because I can't take another this, one of those. This might take me out. Mm -mm. This might take me out. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It could still take me out. I mean, that face with that <laughs> hand right up against the... 15 points of damage to both of you. Oh, okay. I have and one. And seven to you. I have two. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Ooh, this one is spicy. Ooh. <laughs> Might be down in that potion sooner than I thought. Oh. All right. <laughs> you might like sing like Isri in yeah. 12 seconds this uh. time. Hold on one second, everybody. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Oh, That's them. Camber, I need a death saving throw. Oh, yeah, you got you. Come on. Come on, Cantrip. Help me out. Four. Four, that's one failure. Fion. Oh boy, it's not my fight. Right, oh, does Nico. Oh, yeah, what does Nico does do? Does Nico do anything? Nico fades away as a oh. unconscious. Oh, no! Yep. Great, cool. Um, yeah, so next to you, you just actually see Nico look up at you. And just look back. <laughs> Once again. Nico! <laughs> no! <laughs> Um, as I get up, I'm like, Smoking you want to dance? He doesn't think you're done yet. Ooh. You've got this next death saving throw with mm. advantage. Love it. Love it, love it. Thank you. You want to dance? Let's dance. And I will use half my movement to get up. Use my bonus action to vibe. All right. <laughs> bonus action rage vibes. Great. Um, as I stand up and my eyes glow a little bit, there's just like this beautiful sheen around my body. <laughs> um, so whenever a creature hits me with an attack roll before my rage ends, that creature will take 1d6 force damage. Ooh. All right. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, Lister's mate thinks you're feeling lucky. Roll your next attack with a high variance die. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Up, Which multi-attack monster do I go for? How about the red one, since I already hit it? <laughs> um, so I will bring my Sweet. axe up above my head and bring it down on the red Deinonychus with high variance. Mm -hmm. That's a natural one. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, the high variance give it. Oh, and it definitely taketh away. Uh, <laughs> Just kind of angered and beat up. I'm gonna take a look at this random potion that's been in my hand for yes, only six seconds, but it's felt like a lifetime. Okay. Almost had there. <laughs> um, that one is kind of the same color as your fur. Great. We're gonna drink it. <laughs> All right. Uh, as you do, you feel this itching <clears throat> in your lower spine. Oh, great. And it almost hurts a little bit. And as you reach down, you actually feel that you have two tails. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Tauros. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I can't move. I can't do anything. 
I'm just gonna stand here and take it like an ox. Alright. <laughs> that brings us to the chokers. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is going just according to This is to plan. going great. Mm -hmm. So that one is still <laughs> okay. holding on to you. Is it gonna hit me? Yes. Great. <laughs> hit me. You might take it out. I might. Like it's yeah. lots of uh, lots of small effects. This is uh -huh. the greatest time to get this. Yeah. Yeah. While uh, that's a twelve. It doesn't it hit. hit. Okay. Is it when it hits an attack? Hold on. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, it hits. Okay. Um. All right. So this next attack, Zagmeister has distract this choker. It's going to be a negative one. Okay. Nice. <laughs> this attack. <laughs> That is going to be a 12 to hit you. Doesn't hit. <laughs> <laughs> and the other choker has parry, which means that is the end of their turn. Oh, it only got two hits. That's good. Because it's attached to me? Maybe. Interesting. Oh, yeah, okay. That would make sense. Great. All okay. right. That okay. then brings us to... <clears throat> Should we ask questions later? Dynonychus. <laughs> First one is going to attack you, Theon. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's gonna be an 18 for you. That attack. hits, it takes four points of force damage. Okay. Force? Yes. Yes. So let me do that part first here. Four points of force damage, but then as it bites down into you, <laughs> Dealing seven points of damage to you. Have down Have to three. Down to three because you're vibing. Nice. As it bites <clears throat> down, you actually see some of that that glimmer along your skin goes, and it <laughs> bounces back off of you. Clever Foodie has unleashed a stable charge on Fion. Okay, you got this. Need you to roll a percentile die. That'll be a fifty-six. A fifty-six is a healing charge, I believe. Yes. Let me double check that. Let me double check that. Can't remember if it's sixty right now or. I think that's fifty-five percent chance of healing as a matter. Oh! <laughs> you lucky son of a gun! <laughs> ben, you're gonna win this room. As you heal. <laughs> just starts crawling. <laughs> as you heal for ten. Oh! Woo! The charge of the gun oh, resets. Woo! To we in it now. Oh. Uh, are you back to full? Uh-huh. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm like definitely in a mosh pit right now, like punching. <laughs> and it like comes back up with its claws. Mm. That will be an eight to hit. Doesn't hit. <laughs> it's gonna be a twenty-two to hit. That hits, it takes three points of force damage. My pack just. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Crews in it? Uh huh. <laughs> I can't do that, but I would like to. Fionn can. Yeah, Fionn can. Um, dealing eight points of slashing damage, have it down to four because you're vibing. Mm. And once again, its color just kind of bounces off of you and that completely ricochets itself back onto the ground and looks up at you. <laughs> 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 The blue one next. <laughs> Cover three wants to the whale chaos on Fion. You got this. Yes. Come on. <laughs> I feel like this is like one of those like round acid trip round moments in a movie. Yeah. Yep. With dinosaurs. Uh huh. With dinosaurs. Great. <laughs> <laughs> this couldn't get any weirder. Um. Two. I can mimic myself. Um. As you are continuing to vibe, you go to indeed talk the greatest of smack mm. to these dino birds. And who's voice better to do that in than Cambers? Hey! <laughs> Back up off here. I'm vibing here. <laughs> Alright. So it's for its bite did not oh no, it didn't it didn't. It bit at you, it didn't. 
Going into the claw attacks. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I mean... That's a 12. Hey, that doesn't hit. Hey. <laughs> and then a 16. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's going to take one point of force damage. One point of force damage. All right, and you are going to take four points of piercing. Half down to two. Half down to two because you're raging. Right. Cool. One point of force damage, you said? Yeah. Okay. Hold minimum damage. I feel like I went more Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> you do you, my friend. It's fine. Hey. Which is vibing. You got the Irish creeping in a little bit. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Camber believes... Oh, wait, no. Clever Footy believes in Camber with a not today. Oh! This is a legendary card. Where you, were, you were up with one HP. <gasps> And immune to damage and harmful effects until the end of the next turn. Oh, Clever Booty, that's hey, huge! Buddy. Real huge. We back, baby. Welcome back. Pretty cool. Is Nico back? Fortunately, no. No. Didn't think so. Okay. Still storing up that, uh, that advantage. All no right. Excesses. Stonebreaker. Oh, yes. Um... <laughs> I will. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> Show I, me your walking path, please. Uh, well, <laughs> step one is leave. It's <laughs> <laughs> good to get it. Uh -huh. Step two and three are get to corner of where is uh, danger. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And 30 feet can only get me <sighs> here. Okay. Even if I stay. Wait, hold on. Even if I stay in danger the whole time, I can't hit closer. Um. Oh, Nico is still around. Excuse oh. me. Oh. Yeah, he stays until you die. Until it is reduced, reduced to zero hit points, or I die. Ah, okay. Oh, that? Okay. Hey, pretty great. You're a. <laughs> I'm actually. <laughs> just kind of reappears on the ground, and. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I, I'm going to use bonus action for um, second wind. Okay. Heal mm. myself for, for uh, oh. five. <laughs> okay. And I. Oh, this hurts. We'll use action surge. Two step, one step. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, buddy. Mm -hmm. But we'll then mm -hmm. make attack. Yeah, yeah worth it. it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hey, friends. That is a 20 to hit. A 20 will hit. For 15 points of slashing damage. Oof. All right. Nice. And that is turn. That is turn. Okay. All right, Wyatt. Well, as much as I like it up here, if they're going to keep shooting lightning, I think we're better to scatter <laughs> to the wind. So Wyatt's going to slide off a stonebreaker uh, and then uh, start spreading out 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 to get down here. Okay. Just as a quick reminder to everyone, Camber, you have two adrenaline fee on. You have you. three stonebreaker, three Wyatt, three... Inspiration to Camber and Stonebreaker. Sammy7920, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome hey. to the Adventurers Pack. Come Good on morning. in. It's a gauntlet tonight. <clears throat> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Death is inevitable. All right, well, we need you to stay up, Stonebreaker, so how about another reprieve? One for you and one for me. I'll twin another healing word. Mm -hmm. First level this time. Five points of healing to both of us. Cool. All right. Nice. Uh, that was my bonus action. For my action, I will attack the uh, the one that sandwiched between the two of them. Uh, oh. <laughs> the Di no, is that a Dionychus or uh -huh. a yeah, the Dionychus, the blue one, uh, with the advantage from the silver bobs. Dionychus. 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 Dynamicus. I don't like it. 
Uh, that'll be a 16 to hit. 16 will hit the right. Dynanagus. Hey. Dynanagus. Cool. Uh, for seven points of fire damage. To the blue one? To the blue one, that's correct. Okay. Uh, as the fire actually catches along it, and you actually see some of the fire, the feathers go up in smoke and actually shed off the side, and it starts to scream and knocks them off a little bit. Is still up. That was a very close kind of face. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was my action, my bonus action, my sorcery point. So that's literally all I can do. Okay. Maybe if uh, next to bird, it also get fried? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. okay. Camber, mm-hmm. you are up. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, okay. Um, God, my eyes kind of blink open. I can feel the uh, the electricity still buzzing through uh, my limbs. And I shake my head. And I sit up. And I look over at Nico. And say, not today, my friend. We are not leaving here without a little bit of a, a little bit of a prize to be won. Let's go get. Let's go cause some havoc. Um, and I will. I will command him to go to go fetch me a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff um, has given Camber a second, second potion. potion. Oh. Here, a second oh. First thing, yeah, first thing I want to do is I use test my movement to stand up is check out the first one that I got back in the choice room and see what we do with that thing. Okie dokie. Uh, that one uh, is a clear potion with some, it clear is a strong word for it. You can see <laughs> through the other side, but it's a little murky. Uh-huh. Um, and you can see there's something darker in the center. <laughs> what the hell, friends? Don't, don't knock it back. As you see do, what happens. you feel something moving in your throat. Sure. And you feel a latch oh. somewhere inside. Oh. We've seen this one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Number two. <laughs> what does right. it look like? Watch What's it look like?